We are here in Krakow at AGH University of Science and Technology. We are in this project because uh, my research group, uh, since many years, works on different fields of electrochemistry, electrodeposition of various materials and electrochemical studies of various electrode processes. That's why we're invited to join the CO2 Excite Consortium as one of the partners. First, we are testing catalysts produced by other partners. We have many different types of copper-based electrodes delivered by our project's partner or prepared in our laboratories. Among others, we tested uh, different uh, forms of metallic copper, for example, copper monocrystals of different orientations, uh, copper nanowires, copper spattered or electrodeposited on the surface of uh, different substrates, and uh, most uh, promising one, copper spattered uh, on the surface of gas diffusion electrodes like uh, carbon felts or carbon papers. Carbon paper, it looks like a paper, but it's black material composed of carbon fibers. The thin layer of copper, which is more or less 10 nanometers, is a catalytic material. So we have porous carbon substrate covered with just 100 nanometer layer of copper, which is a catalyst, and carbon dioxide must permeate through this membrane to the electrolyte. And at the contact of these three phases, at this very tiny CO2 bubbles, the reaction takes place. The electrochemical measurements have been performed in a microcell flow. One of the tested electrodes is already placed in the microcell. Through the window, one of the tested electrodes we already input here. Through the window, we can see this electrode. The active surface is set towards the electrolyte. Uh, at the opposite side, uh, we uh, input an anode. The electrolyte uh, input is here, while the carbon dioxide is here. Uh, up to now, we have studied uh, many catalytical materials uh, produced by ourselves and also supplied by other partners. We somehow optimized the performance of the catalyst. We haven't achieved yet the desired stability, but we have already achieved the desired working parameters. High current density, sufficient electrolyte flow, and high Faraday conversion yield of CO2 to ethylene. There is one more thing we are working on, is the increased stability of the catalyst, because right now the best performing catalysts can work up to maybe 10 hours, which is not sufficient for industrial application. That's why we need to optimize electrolyte composition, structure of the electrodes, maybe something in the cell, some extra chemical components in the electrolyte in order to increase the lifetime of the catalyst. Optimization of a chemical process can be compared to tuning of a musical instrument. At the very beginning, the process is not optimized and the sounds of an instrument are really nasty. In the CO2 Excite project, we optimize several different processes related to conversion of carbon dioxide. And finally, we combine them into one large process starting from CO2 and ending at final product, which is ethylene dioxide. This process of building so-called a demonstrator can be compared to building a tune from separate sounds of a nicely tuned instrument.